Well, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to another Black History Not Taught in Schools mini series video <laughs> featuring the Black History flashcards by UrbanIntellectuals.com. These videos are not sponsored sponsored by UrbanIntellectuals.com. They are simply something that I decided to do for informational and, uh, yeah, educational and entertainment purposes only. So, yeah. So, welcome back. We are up to day 46. So, we are highlighting all 52 cards in the deck and we are up to day number 46 or card number 46, however you choose. So, if you are interested in these flashcards, then you can head over to urbanintellectuals.com and they have five volumes of these decks. I am highlighting volume one and volume two. Volume two is the women specifically of black history. So, let's check out today's figures. So... We have Percy Julian and Serena Williams. All right. So, first and foremost, Percy Julian, April 11th, 1899 till April 19th of 1975. And Percy Julian... Yeah, Percy Julian. <laughs> Two first names. <laughs> um, so he was a research chemist and pioneer in the chemical synthesis of medicinal drugs from plants. He was the first to synthesize the natural product physostigmine used to treat glaucoma and a pioneer in the industrial large-scale chemical synthesis of human hormones. Wow. His work laid the foundation for the steroid drug industry's production of cortisone, other corti corti corticosteroids, my gosh, and birth control pills. He started his own company to synthesize steroid intermediates from the wild Mexican yam. Okay, come on, focus. Let's see. There we go. Started his own company to synthesize steroid intermediates from the wild Mexican yam. Received more than 130 chemical patents. One of the first African Americans to receive a doctorate in chemistry. First African American chemist inducted into the National Academy of Sciences. So, perhaps if you are going into chemistry, you will hear about him because the synthesis of human hormones, birth control pills, cortisone, and other corticosteroids, I can say it now, um, that is the, probably the basis of the pharmaceutical companies at this current time. Like, in 2023, like, think of what people are trying to do with hormones. Like, so think of all of the things that they were able to synthesize from the base products that he, like, pioneered, the products that he came up with. So, yeah. Percy Julian. Amazing. Amazing. All right. Next, we have the one and the only Serena Williams. I mean, everybody knows who she is. Um, she, yeah, she's history. <laughs> she is like living history. Her and Misty Copeland, but I feel like. Serena Williams is a much, like, 
household name more than <laughs> anything. Like, everyone knows who Serena Williams is. At least everyone in America should probably know who she is. Unless you just don't. But, yeah. Serena Williams, September 26, 1981, to present. And that is a fantastic picture. Okay. Serena Williams is an American professional tennis player and philanthropist. She raised, oh, she was raised in a tennis-focused family alongside her professional playing sister, Venus Williams, Venus and Serena, of course. Four-time Olympic gold medal winner and ranked number one in the world singles eight times between 2002 and 2017. And I'm pretty sure she, because these cards were printed in 2017, I believe. And so there has been six years that she has still been doing stuff and that are not on these cards. So, yeah. She holds numerous records, including being a seven-time Wimbledon singles champion and six-time U.S. Open champion. Currently, 2017 holds the most Grand Slam titles in singles, doubles, and mixed doubles combined. Listed on Forbes list of the 100 highest paid athletes and serves as chief supporting officer for British luxury automobile manufacturer Aston Martin. Oh. Wow. Well. Uh, she donates to and works with many charitable causes and is funding the construction of the Serena Williams Secondary School in Matuni, Kenya. So, yeah, that is Serena, and this is only as of 2017, which is six years ago, and she's still playing tennis, she's still doing great, living her best life, got married, you know, is married, has a kid, a cute little daughter, like, Serena is gold. Like, she is gold. And so, yeah. Like, imagine being alive and knowing that you are already part of history. That is something that is truly amazing. And she has, you know, paved the way for a lot of other girls that look like us to want to, pay, to play tennis. Um, my grandpa played tennis here, and this was, like, during the, gosh, like, early 19, like, the 20s and 30s, and he had a hard time. And, I mean, even when Serena was around, they still, well, they still give her a hard time to this day, but, I mean, her her wins speak for themselves her as her athleticism speaks for itself and I mean she's pretty much been unmatched and that's why so many people don't I mean that's why everybody knows her but people don't really give her the respect that she deserves but anyways yeah those are the two figures today from for day 46 of this Black History Not Taught in Schools mini-series. I hope that you all are enjoying this series just as much as I am. And if you are, then please give the video a thumbs up so that it can reach out to a larger audience. I would appreciate it so very much. So with that, thank you all for being here. I love you. I appreciate you. And I'll see you in the next one.